Well folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast and I gotta say compared to what we just went through and, and prayers to the people down south um, that was an ugly ugly hurricane and, and unfortunately for them it came in there fortunately for us it did not come up into here I can't fathom what it would look like if we get a major hurricane like that to come right up the gut of Tampa Bay um, as you can see the utter dev devastation from down south it just I just can't even imagine I know for a fact that if we would have had the storm surge that we had that they had down there this building would not be here um, it would have to hit just right it would have to the eye the 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 I guess the the right hand part of the eye would have to go right over Tampa Bay in the middle of Tampa Bay to push all that water up here so fortunately for us like I said we didn't get it but unfortunate for the people down south that really kind of stunk bad well it stinks horrible luckily we have a lot of people that we know personally that have been sending down donations uh, the happy I think it's the happy snapper food truck Raphael uh, captain Raphael Rios he has been going down there feeding people um, reef and reel has been going down and sending donations fins is having a donation drive this weekend from 11 to 3 fins restaurant in Apollo Beach and then fins fishing club is they're putting that together 11 to 3 and I'll go over that in the in the uh, events later on in this Friday fishing forecast so there's a lot going on I can say this I went out today uh, just to kind of check on the water clarity and it looks pretty good I, I was shocked at um, excuse me for getting on the boat like that I was shocked at how clean it was especially over in st. Pete I could see five to six feet down um, there's still a little bit of a tannin uh, look to it especially on our side of the bay but it is getting better I saw bait on the markers bait on the flats so there's a lot going on water temperature this morning was um, 75 the weekend looks absolutely beautiful We're, with the the weather looks absolutely just wonderful for fishing um, I think it's low 80s slight breeze on Saturday the breezes are supposed to pick up later on Sunday just keep that in mind if you're going offshore, but it looks like overall, it looks like a great weekend. No rain chances, I think until late Sunday. Uh, I think there's another front coming through or something like that. But anyway, uh, it looks like a wonderful weekend. I've heard the fishing has been really, really good and only getting better. So I'm looking, for, Chad and I are looking forward to getting out this weekend and we're gonna actually go and target some hogfish. Plus this weekend, next weekend and i think i think every weekend through october don't quote me on that but red snapper is open every weekend uh through november something i can't remember but i'll put it up here i'll look into it and put it up here but anyway so you have that option if you're going offshore but chad and i red snapper are fun and stuff but we rather go and catch hogfish so we got a report that in about 55 35 to 55 feet of water the the hogfish are everywhere so we're going to definitely go out and do that so looking forward to doing that so let's go ahead and get into the tides and salooners for this weekend and talk about what we have coming up all right folks for saturday we have a low tide at 6 36 a.m at a 0 0.89 foot then we have a high tide at 102 p.m at a 2.44 foot and we have a low tide at 7 17 p.m at a 0 0.75 foot on Sunday we have a low tide at 7.25 a.m. at a 0 0.60 foot. Then we have a high tide at uh, 1.53 p.m. at a 2.31 foot. And then a low tide at 7.43 p.m. at a 0 0.96 foot. So as you can see we have a pretty good tide weekend. Uh, like I said the bite is really starting to pick up. The, the water starting to clear up. Bait is everywhere on the flats. Bait is out at the markers so there's a lot going on. Redfish bite has been really good. Snook bite has been good. Uh, the grouper bite has been good. The snapper bite is good. So everything is kind of getting ready and, and uh, we're getting into those fall patterns ever since that water temperature dropped a little bit right after the storm. So let's go ahead and get into the major and minors for this weekend. On Saturday, we have a major feeding time from 11.28 a.m. to 1.28 p.m. And then a minor feeding time from 6.12 p.m. to 7.12 p.m. 
Then on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 12.14 p.m. to 2.14 p.m. And then a minor feeding time from 6.45 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. All right, folks, and, and as I talked about before, uh, the there's a donation drive that Finn's Fishing Club and Finn's Restaurant is putting together in Apollo Beach from 11 to 3 on Saturday. So if you have, if you're local and if you have something to do, donate, go by there and drop off your donations to them. Also, Reef and Reel is having their Kids Day on Saturday from tw from 12 to 4. Uh, they'll have casting lessons, face painting, games, coloring, prizes, snacks, drinks, and great deals in the store. The kids will also get a chance to meet their mascot, Reefy, and take a picture with them. Reefy will be at the store from 12 to 2 p.m. along with the face painting. The casting lessons will run from 2 to 4 p.m. The games and sales will be running all day long. So if you get a chance and you've got a young one, stop by there and, and see what they've got going on. I know they've got a lot of things planned. They've got a great store there. They're doing a lot of great things in the community, which I truly appreciate. They had a big donation drive, and they collected a ton of donations, sent them down south. I think they're going to do it again and maybe even a third time. So I want to thank them for doing that. Um, I didn't get a lot of pictures for the top catches simply because I don't think people were going out and wanting to fish as they were preparing for this storm. So the only one that I got recently was, uh, this is from Captain Bryant Lambert of Fish Hawk Charters, who's a good friend of ours. He caught this hogfish in 55 feet of water on a slacker jig. Now, I have yet to catch one on slack. I've caught them on a quarter ounce, but I have yet to catch one on a slacker. But they did that. They they did just that. The hogfish bite, like I said, has been really, really good, and only going to get better. The gag bite offshore is is good. Everything is happening. The kingfish are going to start showing up. There's a ton of blue runners offshore, so I think those kingfish are just on the on the door. We're catching a lot of Spanish mackerel offshore, so there's a lot going on. And like I said, this weekend looks absolutely beautiful. We do have high pressure built in, so that will affect the fishing a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna affect it too, too much in this sense, because these fish I think are gonna be very hungry. Again, I just wanna say thank you very much for the support. We truly, truly appreciate it. We can't say thank you enough. Things did slow down because of the storm, but they are picking back up. Um, we will be announcing some new products here in this next coming week. We've got bank sinkers, we've got larger egg sinkers, we've got larger pyramid sinkers. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, the bank sinkers are very popular for, um, for chicken rigs. So we've, we'll have those available from one ounce all the way through, I think 24 ounce, something like that, something crazy. But anyway, we've got the molds for those. We'll start making those next week. Again, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.